Hi guys, welcome to this Easy Maths video. Today I've got a problem where I've got three sequences and I need to find the last terms within each of the sequences. This problem is set by the GCHQ puzzle book. It is number sequences 2, question 52. Pause the video to give it a go and then when you're ready for the solution, continue watching. This is our first sequence. We've got the term 7, 14, 19, 29, 40, 44, 52, 59, 73, 83, 94. And we need to find the last term in this sequence after 94. So with each of these sequences, we need to try and understand what is the pattern between each of these terms. And what you should be able to see is that each term in the sequence is increased by the sum of the digits. So if we have a look at a few examples, our first term is 7 and to get to the second term which is 14 we take the first term and then we increase it by the sum of those digits. Well the sum of the digits of 7 is 7 so it's going to be 7 add 7 which is 14. So the second term is 14. Then if we apply that same concept to get to the third term we're going to have 14 plus the sum of the digits which is going to be 1 plus 4 that's 5, 14 plus 5 is 19 and then we can do the same to get from the third to the fourth. The third term we know is 19, uh, the digits are made up of 1 and 9, 19 plus 1 plus 9 is 29. So we can apply this same principle where we take the term that we already know and then we increase it by the sum of the digits of that term. So we know that 94 is the 11th term in the sequence and the term marked with a question mark is the 12th term. So that means we're going to need to take the 11th term which is 94 and then add the sum of those digits. So to get from the 11th to the 12th term we would do 94 plus 9 plus 4 and that will give us an answer of 107. So that would be our final answer. Sequence B is made up of the terms 18, 26, 38, 62, 74, 102 and then the final term which we need to find. Similar to the first question we need to see whether there is a pattern between each of the terms within the sequence. And what you should be able to see is that each term in the sequence is increased by the product of digits. So if we have a look at a few examples again we start off with our first term which is 18. To get to the second term we would do 18 plus the product of those digits which is 1 and 8. 1 times 8 is 8 and then we just do 18 add 8 which gives us 26. Apply that same rule to get from the second term to the third term. So 26 plus 2 times 6 is 26 plus 12 which is 38. To get from the third to the fourth term we would do 38 plus 3 times 8 which is 38 plus 24 which gives us 62. So we can apply that same concept to find what the final term in the sequence is. So the term we are trying to find is the seventh term in the sequence. We know what the sixth term is, which is 102, and then if we increase 102 by the product of those digits, which is 1 times 0 times 2, if you multiply any number by 0, you're going to get 0. The term 102 would have not increased by anything, so the seventh term is 102. And what's interesting about this sequence is all of the terms after the sixth term are going to have answers of 102. So it doesn't matter whether they asked us to find the tenth term, the hundredth term, the one millionth term. It doesn't matter. We would always get an answer of 102 because you would always be increasing 102 by zero. So our final answer would be 102. So if we have a look at sequence C. We've got the terms 18, 25, 28, 34, 35, 37, 41, 44. We need to find the last term in the sequence. So to do this, we need to figure out what the pattern is between each of the terms within the sequence. Each term in the sequence is increased by the difference of their digits. So we have a look at a few examples. To get from the first term to the second term, we do 18 plus the difference of those digits. So 8 minus 1, which is 7. And 18 plus 7 gives us 25. To get from the second to the third term, we do 25 plus 5 minus 2, which is 3, and that gives us 28. And then to get from the third to the fourth term, we take 28, take the difference of those digits, which is 8 minus 2, add them together, we get 28 plus 6, which is 34. So we need to find the ninth term in the sequence. So we take the eighth term and then add the difference of those digits. So it's 44 plus 4 minus 4, which gives us an answer of 44. And again, similar to sequence B, 
all of the terms after the seventh term in the sequence are all going to have answers of 44. You're going to keep adding 44 by a difference of 0. And of course, if you add a number by 0, if you try and increase a number by 0, it's going to give you the same answer. So the last term in the sequence has an answer of 44. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can check out my other videos on this page. And also, if you've got any questions or any video suggestions, just leave a comment down below.